Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Panda Guide. My name is Felipe, I'm from Colombia, currently in Chengdu due to some ongoing projects from my company. I came here in China in 2009, long, long time ago. I came as a student to do a master's degree in Chinese modern history at Nanjing University. After my graduation in 2013, I found a job in Hangzhou. Many years later, I started my own coffee business consulting in Shanghai in 2021. Due to my extensive experience in China, I have had several visas and resident permits on my passports. Using my experience, I would like to show you as an example how to do a renewal of your visa in China. First of all, which visas can be renewed and which ones cannot. I used to have a study visa and a working visa. A working visa is called a set visa and that one is usually given for a period of three months. And you need to come to China within those three months, otherwise the visa is gonna expire. Study visas are what we call X1 and X2. When I entered into China, I had a X1 visa for 30 days. If you don't enter to China within that period of time, the visa will automatically expire. For foreigners holding Z visa and X1 visa, they need to apply after entering to China the following uh, documents within the 30 days. So if you are a holder of a Z visa, you need to apply first of all for a working permit and then a resident permit. If you are a X1 visa holder, which is you are a student, you need to apply for a residence permit. The validity of the period by right, it could be one year to several years. In my case, for example, my working permit is around two years, but the residence permit that I get in my passport is valid only for one year. So how to extend or apply to your work permit and residence permit? In China, when you are working, you have a company or an employer, and if you are studying, you have a university or a college. Therefore, the employer, the company, or the university will help you to apply the working permit and residence permit. Here is the official website for applying or extending your working permit. For detailed information, you can click the link in the description below. Besides the link for the detailed information and materials of the issuance, extension or renewing of the residence permit, you can find more information in the description below. Apart from the Z visa and X1 visa, there are other types of visas that are also non-renewable here in China. J1, Q1, S1, among others. So if a foreigner wants to be here in China for an extended period of time, he or she must apply for the residence permit within the specific time of his or her visa. So how about renewable visas? The visa that we were talking before, the X2 for students also, is a short-term period visa for foreigners. This type of visa can be renewed. There are other types of renewable visas and we are putting it somewhere here on the screen. Among these visas, the L visa, which is tourism visa, is the most common one. Taking it as an example, for renewal, you need to prepare the following documents. Number one, valid passport or other international documents. Number two, visa, stay permit, residence permit application forms. Number three, accommodation registration form for foreign nationals. Number four, one recently taken half length, white background, bare headed, full face photo. Number five, travel plans itinerary. And number six, other documents required. All materials set and ready, you can visit the exit and entry administration bureau of the public security organ above the level of your residing prefecture level city, including the district or country governed by the municipality directly under the central government to submit materials in person. For instance, in Chengdu, you can visit the Chengdu Public Security Bureau's Exit and Entry Administration, located at number two Renmin West Road, Qingyang District. If you have any other questions, you can also call them at the number in the description. Procedures for other renewable visas are similar. You can find the official detailed preparation materials and application procedures in the link provided in the description below. Any questions? Again, you can also call the National Immigration Administration at 12367 for consultation. Tips! 
Here are some personal tips for extension and renewal. First of all, prepare in advance. It's advisable to prepare a month earlier rather than just a few days before expiration. Trust me, it's very important. In the event of any legal stay, you may face a warning, a fine, or even the de detention. Number two, keep the receipt. If your passport is taken for application purposes, right? You can still stay legally in China within the acceptance receipt. It's a paper that they will give it to you with all your visa information and so on. You can also use it for traveling. Phone calls. The exit and entry administration may verify the authenticity of your application via face-to-face -face communication, phone calls, or on-site investigation. So be sure to answer calls from any unknown number during this process. Well, and that's all for today's video. I hope you found it helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel or search for Panda Guide, mini program on WeChat for more lifestyle info about China and Sichuan. See you next time. So continue. Wow.